G'day, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to this a bit of a greyish Saturday morning in Perth. Uh, welcome to my shop again. Um, this is probably uh, a sort of, uh, I'd say, uh, single malt and uh, peanuts or peanuts and single malt uh, show, um, but uh, a brief one. And um, I've had something on my mind for many, many years. And I, I, tr I, I had a lot of issues uh, with the mills and that sort of thing, and I came up and designed and built that um, this this matrix here, which is uh, it's featured in a couple of videos in the past, with the T slots and threaded um, threads in it as well, and that and that works very very well on on my milling machines, on all three of the milling machines. It fits them all, uh, and I as I say, I featured that. There's a couple of videos with that on it. Uh, but recently I, I started to think, well, you know, the reason I'm, I built this and I, and I use it is because the, um, the T-slots that you've got in the table of your milling machines uh, are quite restrictive. There's three of them there, or four or five, depending on the width of the, of the machine, the type of machine. Uh, in my... Um, uh, both of my my milling machines are both metric. The uh, the HBM is uh, imperial, but it really doesn't matter. I use metric bolts throughout the uh, 12 mil, um, either either the, the studs or or, or actual um, uh, uh, what's the name uh, Allen Allen bolts. Um, and I got to thinking, well, why shouldn't I do that on the milling machine? And so I'll show you what my thoughts are and I'd be very happy to get some feedback on it. Um, so I'll swing around and bring, it, bring the camera in and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And then I'm opening this discussion up uh, to all and, ev and, and all and everyone. So I'll just come down, I'll swing down here, bring that in. Now there we go. So what I've done is on the, the, the milling table, there's quite a heavy, um, nice big chunk down the bottom here that goes along. And I'm thinking, well, why don't I drill every 50 millimetres or, or whatever, every 50 millimetres uh, along the, com the complete length of the table. I'm just showing a little bit here for demonstration. Uh, a drill and tap holds all the way along. And that will give me a far-reaching ability to um, tie things down to the table far easier than it. Could also do it on the end here. This is nice and big and solid. On the edges, it could now, uh, do it along here. Um, now I do know, I do know that there's there's no shortage of purists out there that don't believe you should drill any holes or do anything in a milling machine, they don't want to touch it. However, I've, I've gone to the trouble of drilling and tapping and fitting in all sorts of places on the mill to, to fit uh, DROs, um, uh, all sorts of, of, of attachments, add-ons, the electric switchboards are all connected to it and so forth. The air system at the back for the um, uh, uh, for the quill nut, it, it all works like that. So we're out here, Saturday morning, uh, you, a lot of you guys, a lot of my friends over in the, in the US are probably um, uh, heading towards Friday night now. But anyway, um, give us some feedback. Thanks.